In August 2014, MSU police interviewed Larry Nasser after a graduate student complained he sexually assaulted her during an appointment. Nasser had gotten wind of the complaint from a colleague. She felt violated, you know, that, that I was doing, like I touched her breast and then I moved her underwear out of the way, you know, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I do that all the time. Nasser brought a laptop to the interview, showing the officer videos of him performing past medical treatments that required close contact with intimate parts of women's bodies an attempt to convince the detective that everything was fine. This is a treatment that I, that I lecture on. I lecture on not only here at Michigan State. For each allegation made by the young woman, Nasser had the same response. It's a standard medical procedure. She's confused. I'm sorry. She said that she felt like that you were massaging her breast and that that was not part of um, the manipulation that you were doing. Okay. It's the rib cage. You know what I mean? You're going to be on the chest wall. You're, you're, you move the breast down. The officer asks Nasser if he's ever been accused of abuse before. Yes, he says, but only by women or girls with one thing in common. There has been a few times where that has been brought up, okay? And in each and every time there was sexual abuse. Okay. So that's what that's what I'm saying is when they're uncomfortable like that, it's, it's been three. There's been three cases, and all three of them were sexually abused. The 2014 interview lasted more than two hours. MSU police wanted to bring charges, but the Ingham County prosecutor declined. Sorry. I'm Andrew Munford. Two years later, Nasser was back at MSU police when another victim came forward. Has there been another complaint? I'm just so confused right now. Immediately, Nasser says he's tried to take extra precautions since his last police interview so that patients aren't confused like they were before. I'm trying very hard to do things where I'm not being nearly as invasive, but it, it compromises things. Mm -hmm. So I am trying to modify uh, well, the reason I'm asking is that we did have another complaint. Really? Yeah. And um, it's a patient from a while ago. The patient was Rachel Den Hollander, whose complaint would finally lead to charges and Nasser's ultimate conviction. Do you ever get aroused during these exams? Do I get aroused during the exam? Yeah, so this is why I'm talking about this, yeah. because this young girl and her mother both observed this on more than one occasion during treatment. If there was uh, arousal, it's, 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 I mean, like, it, it would be because of whatever, I don't know, but I'm not trying to, well, what, I mean, whatever, I, just, I don't know. Well, well, I don't you know. know. When you're a guy, sometimes you get an erection. Throughout the interview, Nasser repeatedly said he felt like a victim. How could he be hurting his patients, he asked, when all he wanted to do was help them. It's like blindsiding someone. You know what I mean? It's like you're doing this and you're doing it for good to help someone and they're giving you the positive feedback that you're helping them. How do I know I'm hurting them? Of course, it was all a lie. Nasser would plead guilty to multiple charges of criminal sexual conduct. His boss is facing charges of his own. And MSU officials say Nasser is a symbol of a much larger cultural problem at Michigan State. Tonight on 7 Action News at 11, more from the Nasser tapes. Who from MSU warned Larry Nasser that his behavior could get him into trouble? We'll hear that tonight at 11, only on 7. It's got to be so disturbing for the parents to hear oh. those tapes and him talking about arousal and trying to explain it away. Yeah, and he had answers for almost everything. He had answers for everything. Except that. Exactly, and police had him. They had him in 2014. They tried to bring charges. They didn't bring forward two years later. He's back. We'll certainly look forward to your report coming up tonight on Action News at 11. All right, Ross, thank you. And right now on WXYZ.com, we have more of Nasser's never seen before police interviews that we couldn't show you on TV. That's WXYZ.com.